guys what's up in our previous video we wrote a program to detect the faces in this video we are going to write a program to recognize the face that is being captured by the previous program so let's see how it looks like let's run it and here we go you can see my name showing there and i don't have any volunteer but i have him yeah yeah living cool dude so you can see it's showing my name and my friend's name also so let's see how to do it before starting we need to download a python library that is called hello so go to start type cmd and you need to right click it and run it as administrator run it go to cd c slash python oops 27 slash sc script now type pip insta double install p i double o w hello enter and as you can see i have already installed it so you can install it this way after you have done it let's start open your project folder create a new folder name it face recognition and you can see in the previous video we created a script and a casket uh, hard casket xml was there so we need this casket file xml file and paste it here and in the previous script we need the script also for the detection let me explain it in better way so here we have three steps for recognizing the face first we have to create a data set data set and then we need to train the recognizer from the data set and then we have our detector detector first let's create the data set creator for the data set creation we will run a script we will name it data set creator and for this part we will create a script called trainer and oops sorry for detector we will create a detector that's it so all we need to do is first create a first create a data set creator script so let's close all this and for some reason my ideal is not working directly so I am creating a new file from here so okay actually we don't need okay open this this was our previous script and we are going to use this script to create the dataset creator 
just copy it and here what we need to do is whenever the program captures a face we will write that in a folder before capturing the face we need to tell the script whose face it is for that we need a identifier so let's call it id and we can take it from the terminal or interpreter sorry this should be raw raw input and it will take user id so we will put the id here and we will store the id with the face so that later we can identify whose face it is so now we captured a face we need to write it in a file so uh, to write it we have a function called cv2 dot im write let's save it inside a folder called dataset and i want it to be camel case and then let's use the file name as user dot the id appending the id here sorry and after adding the id with the name i want the sample number here means the for the first sample it will be user id then 1 for the second it will be user id then 2 something like this let's append the number and right now we don't have any number correct so let's create a number i or sample number equals 0 in the beginning and we will increment it by 1 every time it detects a face so sample number equals sample number plus 1 and now we can add it str number yeah with this we have written the face in a file oh i forgot to add the extension so dot sorry dot jpg and with that it's done so before continuing to the next loop i want to give it a little pause wait key of 100 millisecond i don't want to quit it by pressing any key so remove this okay so how it will get out of the loop to get out of the loop let's say the sample number let's say we want to take 11 sample for one phase so if sample number greater than or oh, let's say 20 it will be better okay break so done let's save it uh, data set creator and save so this will create a data set
but before running this script we need to create this folder let's create this folder data set i think all that is server okay yeah so let's run it and see what happens let's say my id is 1 and something is not right what happened the cover argument i not found okay okay i forgot to uh, supply the input image which will be the grayscale image gray but we will only store the portion of it which is from y to y plus h and for the x axis to comma x to x plus width so now we have captured it let's save it and it one yeah now i can do let you here yeah, little bit there yeah, let's see it i think these are good selfie time okay so we have created the data creator okay guys bye and wait for my next video please subscribe and like it's pretty cool